the opinions expressed in the video you are about to see are solely those of Botest.com and its test captain. Today, we're going to take a look at the way Formula Boats fabricates their hulls and decks. For Botest.com, I'm Captain Steve. When fabricating something on a fiberglass, the procedure is always the same, whether the component is large or small. It always begins with the mold, and at Formula, that means cleaning and polishing the mold to perfection. First, an outer layer of gel coat is sprayed onto the mold. Then, chop strand is sprayed into the mold, and years of practice has gotten it down to where the workers can spray exact dimensions. Where there are edges and corners, strips of reinforcing strand are laid in place before the chop strand is sprayed down. Then, the spray is smoothed out using small rollers and at formula, even a flashlight to spot small imperfections. Here's the same process being used on a smaller scale, in this case, a 34 dash console. After the hull is popped from the mold, Holes are then cut out for things like port lights and, in this case, outdrives and exhausts. Notice the transom is reinforced with wood that builds it up to two inches thick. With some boats, a one-piece grid stringer system is laid into the hull and chemically bonded so they're joined as one. Performance power boats have to endure an immense amount of stress, and here's how Formula handles it with the 353 FastTech. A single-piece composite grid stringer system is chemically bonded to the hull with mecatholate, which forms a bond that is not going to come apart. Other boats get what's known as a floating grid stringer system. A wood stringer system is suspended just above the hull and then glassed into place, giving the hull its strength and rigidity. Now, if this stringer system were laid directly onto the hull, eventually you would see indentations in the hull from the weight of the stringers. Here's an example of the floating grid stringer system all glassed in and ready to go. Smaller components require much more intricate detail, so instead of spraying the chop strand on, all fiberglass mat, cloth, and woven roving is precisely cut with Formula's state-of-the-art CAD CAM system that ensures a perfect cut every time so everything fits when placed into the mold. Formula is very particular about the materials they use to fabricate their components with. Once the materials are cut, they're grouped according to where they're going to be used. Here we have a fourth hull layer for a 310. There are three different materials. First is a bonding layer. Then a different material is used for a strengthening layer, and then, depending on where it will be used, an even thicker strengthening layer is used, which is much more tightly woven. In all of the formulas that I've tested, I noticed that the hardtops are so strong and they're not waving back and forth as I go through wakes. And where they're getting their strength is from RTM, resin transfer molding. This material is laid down and then a vacuum bag is placed over it. The suction draws the resin through and that's where it gets its hardness from. It takes many more steps, much more so than putting it into a mold. Underneath, you can see cutouts for the hatches and reinforcements for the antennas. The finished product is amazingly strong and surprisingly detailed. Instead of making it just smooth, Formula puts detail lines right into the mold. How many times have you seen me on a test bouncing on the foredeck to see if it gives or not? On this foredeck, all I feel is solid and strong, even before it's attached to the hull. That's our behind-the-scenes look at how Formula builds a premium boat. For BoatTest.com, I'm Captain Steve. We'll see you on the water.